guys, it's your girl Michelle. This weekend we're making Japanese salted butter rolls called shioba. These rolls are very popular in Asia and people stand in line for hours to get these rolls. What's very interesting about these rolls are that you place a block of butter in the middle of the dough so once you bake it, it creates this soft buttery interior. I've also been told that it tastes a cross between a croissant and a pretzel. Let's get started. This recipe makes 10 rolls. To a stand mixer bowl, add 200 grams of bread flour, 200 grams of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of malted barley flour, this is optional, two teaspoons of instant yeast, 25 grams or three tablespoons of milk powder. You can always substitute the milk powder and water with just milk. Give the dry ingredients a stir. While the mixture is running on low with a dough hook, slowly add 260 grams of cold water. Mix for 3 to 4 minutes or until all the ingredients are combined. Stop the mixer and scrape the sides of the bowl. Add 30 grams or 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of salt. Mix on low for 5 minutes. While the mixer is running on low, add 30 grams of cold butter, cubed. Mix for 5 minutes or until all the butter is incorporated. Take the dough out onto a working surface and knead it a few times. Form it into a ball and place it back in the bowl. Cover and let it rest for one to one and a half hours or doubled in size. While the dough is resting, let's prep the butter that will go in the center of each rolls. You'll need 70 grams of cold butter divided into 10 pieces. It's also five tablespoons of butter and half a tablespoon of butter for each roll. Place the butter back into the refrigerator. Place the dough onto a lightly floured surface. Divide the dough into 10 pieces and roll them into balls. Cover and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. Let's take the prep butter out of the refrigerator. We're going to shape the doughs into teardrop shapes. Grab the bottom end of the dough ball and roll just the bottom end. Use a rolling pin to roll the thicker part of the dough, then roll down while lightly pulling on the bottom of the dough. Place the butter block, then roll the dough like a croissant. rolls onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Cover and let it rest for 45 minutes to one hour or doubled in size. When the rolls are ready, brush or spray with water and sprinkle with coarse salt. Bake at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 14 minutes or until golden brown. During the halfway baking time, turn the pan for more even baking. Butter leakage is normal. You can use the melted butter to burst the top of the rolls. The melted butter made the bottom of these rolls crispy. There's so much flavor in this roll. The bottom is so crispy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can see why people line up for hours for these rolls. The butter block in the middle created this soft, fluffy interior. It's so delicious. And the salt on top create this nice salty, crusty crunch that you crunch on. It's the perfect pair. That's all the time we have for today. Until next weekend, guys. Bye.